Hey, it's Jeremy here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a cool cover for an Instagram carousel post. So I'm doing a post on the PC that I actually own and I'm calling it the PC Beast. And I wanna find an image. So what I love to do is actually go to Envato Elements, as you can see here, and I have a subscription with these guys. If you do want to subscribe, I actually have a link below. They're not sponsoring this video, I use them for my everyday use, so it's really great. So what you want to do is go to Envato Elements. Once you have an account, you want to go to the top bar. And what I love to do is go down to the search items and click on 3D. All right? And from this point, I'm going to type in desktop or MacBook or computer and see what pops up. So as soon as that pops up, you can see I get all these cool images. You can see I can go for maybe a desktop. I could go for a computer screen, maybe this cool looking thing. Um, and I'm just going down through and seeing what I can do use There's computer cases monitors There's a mouse. So I really got to think like what could I use? What could look interesting for the cover photo, right? Even I've got some keyboard keys there, which is interesting And there's a whole bunch of ones I can even get this one full PC with a PC case open So there's so many things we can do so I typically go through and search through all these pages it's why I find something interesting, but a cool trick as well is if I like an image and maybe I like this one I can Scroll down and it will show me similar images from that image So I can click similar 3d click on the see more button and now it's finding similar images related to this desktop image I selected So this helps me locate and find some interesting images as well As you can see here Which is super cool but for now, I'm just going to stick with that first image that I picked. So I'm going to go with this desktop computer here. I'll click download and then I'll download that. And it should go to my downloads section. And these 3D files, keep in mind, they're actually really big sometimes. So awesome. And then all I have to do is literally just grab that image and drop it into my Illustrator. Obviously, I'll put the file usually in my folder for my carousel, but for this, I'm just gonna leave it. And then what I start to do is start to drag it up. So I get rid of my toolbars there. I love having big images on the first slide. You don't wanna make it too big because we wanna be able to fit some type, some text. So I'll scale it up maybe this big, right? And it's already comes with shadows, which is awesome. It looks 3D, look, looks high quality. And then I can maybe update this. So maybe I'll call it PC Beast or Desktop Beast my so i love changing the names i'll make my font extra condensed and then scale this down and that can go the mura desktop beats or something like that and then i can go like desktop maybe make, make that thin enough i want Could do that, or I could just call it desktop beast or get rid of this. I can say my desktop beast. It's all about just playing around with the words. You can use the eyedropper as well. And if I want to make it come behind, I just bring that behind this, as you can see there, which makes it look really cool. And if I want to do like a shadow, I can do like a box like this. I can go to my gradient. And I'll make an angle like put it on 90 degrees like this. I'll click this little button here which reverses it And then I'm gonna click the white shade here and make it 0% opacity I'm gonna drag my black color onto that white part and then all I have to do is send the gradient to the back So I'll go to object arrange send to back and I'm just gonna bring this text behind behind it as well so now you can see you've got this shadow and to make it like less abrupt I'm just going to click it and just drag this slider a bit less like this to make it fade out nicer And I'm just gonna bring it down like this Bring that in Just bring it up a little bit as you can see there And now 
if you look at it, it gives like this nice subtle shadow, so it makes it look realistic, as you can see there, which looks cool. I think I like this lockup a bit better. Desktop beast. And I'll take out the word my. So I'm kind of happy with this look. I could put my logo here if I wanted as well. That would kind of be interesting. Or put like my face there or something. That could be interesting. But overall I'm happy. And this is how you create a cover for Instagram Carousel. And then what I'll do, I'll press Control alt e to export my assets. And when I'm exporting it, I will select this cover. And I can call it PC cover. And then I would save that as a PNG as you can see on the right hand side. And I would export that typically into my October folder and I'll call it PC Desktop Beast. And then select the folder and save that in there. And then now if I should go to the folder and see it's there, you can see my cover image is all ready for Instagram. And it was very simple, did that in less than five minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials like this. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more design content every week. Have an awesome day.